So I've had my bookmarks separated from my web browser for quite a while now, and honestly it makes everything so much easier. I don't have to worry about porting my bookmarks when I want to switch browsers, I just have all of them already working. Now, my solution is... What's the best way to say it? Terrible. We'll go with terrible. There is literally no care for portability and it is very, very hacked together. However, the tool that we're looking at today basically takes that idea and then does it well. So you can do things like import and export existing bookmarks from Firefox or Chrome, or you can just start from scratch if you'd like. So this tool is called Buku, Buku. It's spelled B-U-K-U. -U. I'm going to go with Buku for the rest of this video. So... If we want to go and look at the bookmarks I've already got in my database, I can do buku-p and that's going to print out everything that already exists. So I've just got a couple of test things in there, nothing really that important. So if we want to go and add a new bookmark into this, let's say that we want to go and add GitHub. So let's go and get the link for GitHub. And what we can do is write buku-a and then pass in the link. Now, after this link, if we want, we can also go and pass in tags as well. So tags basically let you do some sort of filtering. So I can say that this is for uh, programming, for example, and give it a second. And that's now been added into the database. So when you go and add it, it will go and query the website for its name, as well as for the comment that should be included as well. So as we can see, GitHub is where blah, 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 blah. And the name that I didn't specify myself but this was actually pulled from the website itself. So if you were to go add a bookmark in Firefox or Chrome, it would do the exact same thing, but we don't just have to rely on what is being set by the browser. So let's go to a different website. Let's say that we want to add something like YouTube. Let's get the link for that one. And what we're gonna do is run buku-a and pass in the link again. Now, when you actually want to set tags, you can do a comma separated list as well. So if you want to have one, two, three, and four, those would all be separate tags added to this bookmark. But we're not going to do any of those for now. Let's go and actually set a title along with this. So if we do dash dash title, we can say this is YouTube. Actually, let's give it something that it obviously wouldn't set. So let's say we set it to hi. And if we want to set the comment, let's do dash C. And let's set the comment to something. This is a website. Okay. And we can also go and set whether it's immutable or mutable. So this is going to determine whether we can automatically update the title and the comment with a command we're going to look at a bit later. So I'm going to set dash dash immutable uh, double M to if we set it to one, it'll be immutable and zero, it'll be mutable. So let's set it to one for now. And if we go and run this, as we're going to see, give it a second it's going to add this into our database. The other way that we can add a bookmark is by doing buku-w, and this is going to open it up inside of our editor where it gives you a bunch of information about how to actually write everything. So let's go and set a URL. We're gonna set it to www.duckduckgo.com, and we can set a title. Let's set it to duckduckgo, and we can say this is a, a search, and for the comments, let's just leave this blank for now. So if we go and save this, as we're going to see, give it just a moment. Now it's actually been added into it. And if you leave the comment blank, it's going to query the website for the comment. I showed you that you can print everything in your database earlier, but if you want to go and search for something, one of the ways we can do that is with buku-r. So this is going to be a regex search. And when you do a regex search, it's going to search on every single one of the properties. So the title, the comment, the tags and the URL. So let's search for something like se.star. So start with se and then have anything after that. So in this case, we're going to have TweetDeck, we're going to have GitHub, and we're going to have DuckDuckGo. So let's say that we want to actually open up one of these. So I'm going to show you the interactive mode in just a bit. But for now, what we can do is run buku dash O, and what we actually pass into this is this ID on the right hand side here. So this is the ID in the database itself. On the left hand side, that is just the ID in that specific search. So let's say we wanna open up number five here, which is DuckDuckGo, and give that a moment. There we go. So now we have DuckDuckGo. So this bit is just complaining because I didn't include HTTP or HTTPS in the URL I set. It's not actually a problem with the application itself. Now. One thing that you can also do is, I guess, sort of open up multiple URLs at once. Now, it doesn't actually work properly, but if you do buku-o, and then let's say we want to open up URLs one to three. So this is actually going to open up them one by one. So let's just quit out of the browser and give it a second. 
that next one opens, and then give it a second again, then the next one opens again. I don't know why it does it like that and doesn't automatically fork it into the background. I would say that's probably how it's supposed to work. Now, if you run Buku-O without any arguments to it, it's just going to open up a random URL. Now, I don't know why that's even included. It should just not do anything. And we can also delete URLs in the same way. So let's say that we wanted to delete, I don't know, URL 1. So if we do Buku-D and then pass in 1, that will then prompt you to delete that. And let's press yes. And there we go. Now it's been deleted. And this will also update the IDs of everything else in the database. Now, there's a couple of ways to update a bookmark. So if you just want to automatically update things like the title and the comments, we can do buku-u, and that will then just automatically query those websites. But if you want to go and specifically set options, we can go and combine it with the options we saw earlier, as well as a couple of others. So if we do buku-u, and let's say that we want to update one. So in this case, one is now DuckDuckGo. So if we pass in dash dash URL, this will let us update the URL. If we do dash dash title, that will let us update the title. Dash C will let us update the comment. Dash dash immutable will let us update the immutable state. And the other one that we can do is dash dash tag. Now, when you're setting tags, you can also include a plus or a minus to say whether that tag is being added or removed. So let's say that we want to add a tag to this. And let's say that we want to add the tags, I don't know, one, two, and three. So enter on that. And as we can see, that now has those extra tags. The other way that we can do it is with buku-w, but this time we pass an ID into it as well. So let's go and edit one and let's get rid of some of those extra tags. So we don't need tag one and we don't need tag two. And if we go and save this, as we're going to see, it updates it again. And you can also do a search and replace on the tags as well. So let's say that you have a bunch of bookmarks that are tagged programming and you want to change them over to be coding. Obviously, you can do them one by one, but the easy way to do so is buku dash dash replace. And let's say we want to replace, in this case, we'll replace three and we're going to replace it with real and run that. And one thing has been updated. If we do buku dash p, as we're going to see, that one now has the real tag set to it. Now, what about this interactive mode? So when you do a search or when you just run a Buku without any arguments, what it's going to do is open up this prompt here. So from here, all of the keys basically align with the options we've been using earlier. So if you want to do, say, a regex search, we start it with R. If we want to do, say, an add, we start it with A. If we want to do a write, we start it with W, so on and so forth. It basically aligns with what we're looking at for the rest of the video. So I don't really think there's any reason to spend much more time on this. So to quit out of this, all we do is press Q. Now, if you want to do a search and not have it open up that interactive mode, what we can do is do Buku, let's do a search on everything and include dash dash NP. And that's just going to do the search and not include the interactive mode. Another way we can do a search is based on keywords. So if we do Buku dash lowercase s, that has to match on any of the keywords we include. If we do Buku dash capital S, that has to match on all of the keywords. Now, let's do Buku dash lowercase s, and let's say we want to match on future or is. Now, as you can see, it's not a comma separated list, it's a space separated list. Make sure you make that distinction. So if we run this now, we can see we get GitHub, we get TweetDeck, and we get hi. So let's try that again, but this time include the dash dash deep option. So what deep is going to do is let you actually do a partial match. So let's say we just want to match on FUT. So the regular keyword search wouldn't return anything here, but this one, as we can see, we still get GitHub because it has the word future in it and FUT is a part of future. Now, if you just want to do a search on tags, what we can do is buku dash T. And this actually includes a couple of different things. So if we want to say match on, say, search or programming, we have to include a comma in here. And as we can see, we get both of these here. If we want to include both tags, what we have to do is buku-t. Let's say we want to do real plus search. So real plus search. And that will only include that one. Or we can do exclude. So buku-t and then return anything that doesn't have the tag, say, programming. And as we can see, we get the rest of the database. Now, all of these can be combined together as well. Now, there's a couple of advanced features I want to mention. So if you want to shorten a URL, that can actually be done in this application. So we can do buku dash dash shorten. And let's say we want to shorten www.duck 
DuckGo.com, and that will return a shortened down version of that URL. Now you can also just pass in an index as well. So let's say we want to shorten down the URL for index two. Now it doesn't actually go and modify this, so you'd have to go and set it in the bookmark itself. So if you want to go and expand one of these, let's say we want to expand this one right here. So we can do buku dash dash expand and then pass in that URL and it's going to expand it out into whatever the URL for that website was. In this case, that was TweetDeck. And we can also encrypt our database as well. Now, I don't really see much of a reason to encrypt a bookmarks database, but if you really care about privacy, that option is here. So if we want to encrypt it, we do dash L. If we want to unencrypt it, we do dash K. Now, when we encrypt and unencrypt it, we also have to include the number of iterations we want to use to actually encrypt the database. So I think by default, if you don't include anything, it will just do eight iterations. So this uses the Python cryptography library just in case you care what it's actually using. And the last thing I want to mention is the fact that if you don't just want to use this directly from your terminal, there actually are some interfaces for this that have already been built. So there's actually a browser extension for this. There's another CLI client, but this one is a search as you type. There's a Rofi front end. There's a D menu front end. There's an Emacs interface for it. So if you want to use any of those, these are all here for you to use, but you're always free to go and make something for yourself as well. I just realized I forgot to tell you how to import your Firefox and Chromium bookmarks. So if we want to import a book, so if we want to import a bookmarks file, we do the dash I option. And if we want to export our bookmarks, we do the dash E option. And also, if you want to install this application, it is available on the AUR. However, the AUR version is a little bit out of date. So I'd recommend instead installing it with pip. So I'm not going to be using this myself just because as I mentioned, my bookmarks database is a mess and it's going to be very, very difficult to migrate over to this and my system works. So I'm going to just keep going with what works. But if you're a sane person who just wants to start from what you already have, this might be a really good tool to try out, especially if you don't want to go and write something yourself. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. Before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Chris, Joachim, Donald, Corpinian, Andre, Nathan, Montezar, Chico Bento, Joseph, Pitity, Road, Tony, Brennan, John, Marek, Mikkel, Nate, Dog, Nephite, Poe, Tears, and Zilva. If you want to go and support my work, the links down below to my subscribe star, Patreon, LibrePay, all of that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available basically anywhere. And this channel is available on Odyssey, Library, and BitChute. If you want to watch it on a platform that it isn't YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. And I'm out. <laughs>